Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you incredible news. Will Neff is not dead. That's right. That's right. Will Neff is alive yeah. after an incredible self-suck miracle. You know, Will a lot Neff- of people actually thought I was dead. What? Because a lot of people in your community just made obituaries. Yeah. Like just oh, pictures yeah. of me in black and white with like, <laughs> like Sarah McLaughlin in the background. Oh. In the arms of the angel. Like it just says like Will Neff, yeah. gone too soon to a self-sucking accident. They didn't mention the self suck Oh, that makes so it worse. it just looked like I died. That makes it yeah. so much worse. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's right, though. Five episodes down, finally, Will Neff is back, That's ladies right, and baby. gentlemen. He died. Mm-hmm. They rushed him to the hospital. Okay, the doctor sees his penis and goes, we can't let this beautiful penis go to waste. That's right. That's what, uh, yeah. and, and he said, uh, it was like we are... Mickey Sticks used- situation. Wait, I don't even know what that is. Oh, you've never heard this? No. Mickey Sticks. Front man of uh, Motley Crue was dead, dead, uh-huh. dead. Overdose. Oh, I, I think stop. I know what you're talking about. The paramedic was in the ambulance and he was like, that's Nicky Sticks. He can't die. He hit him with like six shots of adrenaline. I have heart, heard the story. And Nicky Sticks came out and went, oh, yeah. Kick <laughs> off my heart. That's, that's how, that that's how he from. revived himself? Yes. Bro, that's like. That's a, how you sing when you like got a, six, sh- six that's like a stim pack. adrenaline. It's like Call of Duty, bro. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. like, I'm down. <laughs> Nicky Sticks is down. <laughs> Um, we have a wonderful guest here today, and we have one guest who is not here yet, a co-host, if yep. you will. Uh, uh, that's You could just point to the empty seat next to you. Yeah. That's where the, we'll Photoshop her in. <laughs> Ladies, am I right? Uh, of course, we are joined by Daily Dose of the Internet. You want to you wanna give it like a... Yeah, yeah. Hello, everyone. This is your Daily Dose of the Internet. Here I am with Hassan and Will, and we're going to have a fun time uh, talking about fun things. Wow! Damn! Yeah, he he's got it. He's still got it. got it. He's still got it. Still After all these it. years, he's like the Motley Crew of daily dosing yeah. of the internet. Internet royalty. Yeah. yeah, I guess it's funny. I think it's like my first podcast I've ever done. I've never done like one of these things. Really? really? Never. Well, I'm gonna ask you the hard hitting questions. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ask me anything. I'm here. Ask you some. Okay. Some deep. All right. Cutting. Don't don't ask him that. Too many hard hitting questions, <laughs> bro. Goddamn! Like we want we want guests to come back. Okay. Um, he's kidding. He's not gonna ask you hard hitting questions. But yes, uh. uh Will Neff was dead, yes. reanimated, he's alive, he's back. Sure. Um, you're here. You are here for what reason? I'm here because my 30th birthday is coming up, and I'm like, yeah. I want to do something fun. So I wanted to come to L.A., and then I'm, I came here with no plans, and I just went on Twitter. I said, who wants to hang out? And then Cutie reached out, and a couple other people reached out and said, let's do something. And Name I, some names. Who are the other people? Uh, who are the, some of the other people? I don't know, but I, uh, Alan Walker, he's a close friend of mine. He's got a concert going on. Uh, so I'll be there on Thursday. But yeah, and then I got the what, Christmas uh, situation, Christmas oh, yeah. carol thing. Oh, you're going to do that? Yeah. yeah. Cutie was like, hey, come come through. Yeah. I will use you yeah, in my concert. She put your ass to work. Well, she, yeah, she did. She did, actually. Yeah. And then she wants you to be Grinch? Yeah, Scrooge. Or Scrooge. Scrooge. I'm going to be Scrooge. Gonna be Scrooge. Yeah. The original Grinch. Yeah. Which, you know, it, it fits my personality so well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought it was a little Islamophobic. I'll just say it. <laughs> Like, I, you um, know, I, it was the elephant in the room. Yeah, Hassan. Everyone just naturally assumes you hate Christmas. Yeah. What is your actual take on Christmas? I fucking love Christmas. I yeah. love every American holiday. I love Western capitalist uh, adaptations of like otherwise supposedly like important family gatherings or yeah. important traditions. And it's all hyper cons- uh, hyper consumption overdrive. I love that shit. Yeah. I'm such a fan. Dude, I, I had Thanksgiving here. You went... You went back home for Thanksgiving. I had Thanksgiving here where like my, my dad flied out from Turkey. My mom flied from New Jersey. Our whole family, my grandparents came back from Turkey as well. Our whole family was here in my house. Like we yeah. did it here. I love that shit. I didn't grow up with it. I don't have it. We didn't have it in Turkey. So um, I yeah. enjoy it so much. Like we don't watch football, but you know, we just like, I like the aspect of like the family getting together. So your parents are still here since Thanksgiving? Yeah. My mom usually would just get like a one way ticket and yeah. then um, decide when she wants to go back <laughs> pretty much. Uh, my dad has like more obligations in Turkey. So yeah. he'll come for like a month or two sometimes, you know, if he can get time out. Mm-hmm. But that's, that's pretty much it. That's part of the reason why I bought the house was so that they yeah. could like come in yeah, and out yeah. whenever they want to. Yeah. Um, cool. You know they're not working though, right? Are they still working? No, they are. Okay. Yeah, they both teach in college. Daily Dose, are you a big Christmas guy? I love Christmas. I mean, what's not to like about it? Okay. But here's the thing: it's not my favorite holiday. My favorite holiday is definitely Thanksgiving. 
because it's all about family, just eating food, and there's no like obligation to buy things. So, yeah, that's wholesome. That's I wholesome like that. Shit. No, I, I I agree with that. I, I I guess like the only reason why I like Christmas though is still because like I just never had it. Yeah. So we. So why would you s- never had it? I'm Turkish. I grew up in I grew up in Turkey. Okay. So they don't have they okay, don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't have Noel in Turkey. Like yeah, they yeah. call it Noel. Some people do it, but like not everybody. So it's not the same. But the funny thing is, in the in the Muslim world, because they're like, oh, that shit's actually kind of fire. They basically substituted New Year's for Christmas. Hmm. So we like still have the Christmas tree. Okay, but it's not for the 25th. Nothing happens on the 25th. Yeah. On New Year's, however, that's when people treat it like it's Christmas. So our New Year's and Christmas is like tied together, basically. I thought, I thought Turkey was like a mix of Muslim and Christian. It's predominantly Muslim. Okay, it's, it's, it's like overwhelmingly okay. majority Muslim. But yeah, there there are Christians and stuff. It's like, but it's a uh, it's a type of Muslim that's like, especially in the big cities, like very secular. So yeah. it's like you know, like an American Christian in yeah. like New York is yeah. like a Turkish Muslim in Izmir or Istanbul. Yeah. So they they don't give a shit. They're not like super religious. Well, I think that one of the things why I'm not a huge fan of Christmas because like it's all about material things, and I'm not a huge material thing person. Like, I was thinking about this the other day, and I was just like, I love experiences, and I love meeting people more than more than actual things. I don't know. I, well, I, the Grinch you mentioned him earlier. He taught us that in did. Whoville, <laughs> even without the roast beef or beast, sorry, and without presents, Christmas still came. Is that Yahoo like so? The, is the Grinch a good Yahoo. guy then? At the well, end, his heart grows three sizes. Okay, so he had a medical condition. Yes, yeah. this is literally ableist. He had triple bypass. You're defu- that's ableist, dog. That's crazy that like they wrote this. Oh my god, it wouldn't fly. It wouldn't fly nowadays. I'm so you're a you. Thanksgiving guy. I'm definitely a Thanksgiving guy or Halloween. What did you do for Thanksgiving? What did I do? For, I just hung out with family and stuff. Yeah, you know how to big family guy. I'm a huge family guy. Well, that's why I'm still in Chicago. Okay. Like I'm Chicago. there. Chicago. I'm I'm there because of my family. You're are you you're Ukrainian? I or you have Ukrainian well, relatives? I am Polish, and then I have my cousin who is Ukrainian. Who? Well, I have a couple. I have a cousin in Belarus. I have a cousin in Poland. I got a cousin. Uh, basically, all of Eastern Europe. I that's how it always is. I feel like though. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and so I actually texted them the other day because they I know the Russians he, were... He's covering every angle of the war. <laughs> I, I am. Well, I, I have every angle. Yeah. Because like, I had my, my cousin who's, who's in Belarus. He's like, no. Like when the war first broke out, yeah. my cousin in Belarus, he's like, no, there's no war. What are you talking about? I'm like, there is war going on. And then my cousin in Ukraine's like, yeah, we see the we see the aircraft. We see the bombs. Yeah. But my cousin in Belarus is like, no, it's just Western propaganda. It's crazy how that works. Yeah. He was right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, we are a pro Putin podcast, so sorry. No <laughs> politics on the podcast unless we're talking about uh, our, our Lord and Savior, Savior Vladimir yeah. Putin. He is saving family values you ever in seen America. Him do karate? I, uh, okay, no. that is actually cool. That guy wouldn't lie. No. <laughs> that, okay, don't don't actually show cool shit that he's doing. Like you're like you're really like oh, you see him bad, ride bad, a horse bad, naked. Yeah. Like that shit's fire. Yeah, yeah. I. I am such. A, I well, wish our leaders did that. Yeah. Can but you we, imagine? We know his height though. Was it a horse or was it a pony? Uh, that's <laughs> good. You're right. No, it was. I think it was a horse. Yeah. Can't say anything Tricks else. It's a time. horse. <laughs> 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 no, but um, okay. That's so. You're in Chicago. That's the most Chicago lineup, dude. Polish, Belarusian, yeah. Ukrainian. So here's yeah. a fun fact. I'm full of fun facts. Is this what I am? Yeah. That's what I love to do. Uh, so uh, Chicago has the most. Polish speakers outside of Warsaw in the world. That is that is a fun fact. That is a fun fact. But I know like no Polish. So that's um, a sad fact. Yeah. You follow the fun fact up with a sad fact. Do you get mad at Polish jokes or do you make Polish jokes? Do they make Polish jokes in Chicago? Uh yes, I would say so. They have to, right? Like I feel like that's a follow up question. Are you a tube meat guy? I am I'm vegan, so no. You're, You're vegan? vegan. That's in crazy. In Chicago. Yeah, it's, so it's a little rough. It's, it's brought capital, dude. What the fuck? I didn't fuck? even know that was an option in Chicago. It's, yeah. it's a little rough. I'll, I'll tell you that. So coming here is a lot easier. Wow. Yeah. Well, so like, what do you... You're like, I want a deep dish, and then it's just a dish. It's, it's just a dish, yeah. Yeah. So, so it's a little rough in Chicago, but I do food delivery. I'm, I can survive. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, so it's a lot easier here in LA. because The it's, only vegan man in Chicago. I am probably the only vegan man in Chicago, yes. Yeah. Wow. But how did you come across that journey? Did you watch like a documentary? What happened? Uh, no, it was actually uh, my friend. Uh, I, 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 are you familiar with uh, Sweet Anita? Yeah. 
Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll talk sometimes and she kind of just, you know, educated me. I was like, okay, whatever. And she gave you daily dose of the internet. Well, no, here's the thing. She didn't, she didn't, Fun facts. she didn't tell me what to do. She kind of just like educated me about the process. And then what made me just flip, I go straight vegan right away is when she went, oh, you know, cows have to get pregnant to make milk. I went, huh? What? Oh yeah. Cow rape. Yeah, and, yeah, and then what really <laughs> uh, was when I learned that um, when baby cows need to die for milk to be produced, I'm like, oh, I'm not cool with this. So then I just went cold turkey. Yeah, right veal. There. Yeah, veal. So the, the veal industry is entirely dependent on the dairy industry. Yeah. Veal's also not that tasty, except for the veal I had at Carbone. I like guess Vegas. that is the point you made. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, it's just, well, the reason that why I say- product of rape it, isn't even tasty it enough. Feel, <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, it's like cruel, like- yeah. Foie gras, which is duck liver, yeah. is produced through a process that would be considered torturous and excru excruciating. Uh, you know, they it's shove... Illegal here. Yeah, it's illegal here, which is strange. America will Apparently, sometimes like... in Chicago, there were <laughs> certain places that after foie gras became illegal, they just took the fines yeah. and kept serving foie gras. That's how dedicated they the are to pate. Which is the most Chicago yeah. shit yeah. I've ever heard. So here's how I, I actually did research on this. So... Uh, that term, foie gras, whatever, I don't know how to pronounce it. So it's illegal in California, but is an illegal in New York City, but everywhere else in the USA, totally legal. It was illegal in Chicago. Oklahoma. Yeah. Oklahoma. <laughs> it they're they're going to be like, yeah, I want some of that foie grass. I, I want some jalapeno poppers and some foie gras. Yeah, put some foie grass on my jalapenos. But here's where it gets funny. So it, yeah. it was illegal in Chicago in 2006, and then... Two years later, they, they brought it back because yeah. the restaurant owners had too much. Rahm Emanuel, baby, bringing it back. Well, and it they just, it they was, just kept serving it, too. It was uh, Richard Daly. Oh, okay. He called well, it the most ridiculous law they ever passed. <laughs> I mean, I understand why they would. It's like, if you're in America and, and that's illegal, but you can, like, purchase a gun if you cross the state border like that. Yeah. It's like, what? We, we kill each other. Like, yeah. why the fuck would we care about a duck? Which, again... Very torturous method for those of you who don't know at home. Uh, you take a, you just like shove a fucking uh, thing down, like a tube down the throat of a, of a goose duck and then just pump it full of lard so the liver gets extra fatty. Um, and then, then you make pate out of it. It's delicious. Like, I think it's a little gamey, not for everybody, you know, not for everyone, but like with a little Describe bit of taste, please. With a little bit of apricot jam, you fucking oh. slice that on a, on a piece of like sourdough. To, so uh, you've had foie gras right. recently. I haven't had it recently, but I did have veal twice in one week. Okay. <laughs> in well. two different places. And veal, not that good. Yeah. We're, I mean, you ate meat. Like yeah, you're familiar yeah. with all these things, right? Like yeah, for I'm, the first 27 and a half years yeah. of my life. So. Yeah. It, it, there's like, I was talking about this a lot over the past like weekend for, or over the past week for some reason, but like. Filet mignon is such a fucking scam. Hmm. Why is that? Um, filet mignon is treated as the best cut of the meat, even though it's because it's just like scarce yeah. uh, on the animal. But ribeye is is significantly better. I, I'm going to give a controversial take that I finally, in my 33rd year, I'm not afraid to voice it. Hamburger more tasty than any steak ever. <laughs> that's not that controversial. I, that's very controversial. Bro, it's literally packed with like, good things you know what i mean a steak mm. has to ride on its own and it, unless <laughs> you have unless you have like wagyu a5 snow beef you know what i mean that like yeah. that looks like chicken when you fucking bring it in raw it's so fucking marble that it like literally has the the color pattern of a of, of a slab of chicken breast yeah. um unless should, it's like that probably stop talking about meats with the, the i can't uh, i can never stop talking I'm not about meats. You guys. It's, well it's, let's get to the hard-hitting stuff yeah let's I'm, do I'm it here. You've become a pillar of the internet. I, I guess it's funny though, because like my standards are so high, I, I just feel like I'm. I feel like I, I keep falling upwards. So yeah. Like I feel like every month I'm like I'm a failure. I'm a failure. I'm a failure. <laughs> well, I even feel you that. who feel like you're falling upwards, what do you think it is about your particular brand that attracts so many people? Uh, I make it for everyone. So um, so oftentimes like I'll avoid certain topics cause, just because I'm like not everyone's going to like that. Mm. Like there's like a really good video game reference I wanted to use but I'm like not everyone's going to know that. Hey cutie. Oh. It's cutie. Oh. I did it. Look Hi, who cutie. it is. 
Wow, ladies, am I right? Late. Don't say that. Late. Yeah, I would never miss the podcast. You would yeah. never. You Will, would never. You weren't even here for the reincarnation of Will. Like he he came back from his self sucking accident. He's alive. That's right. Oh, I'm we so all celebrated. To hear where you've been? Mm. Oh, well. right now we're talking. We're giving daily dose the hard hitting questions. Yeah, we're hitting, getting them with the hard hitting. Yeah, great. Yeah, hard great. Questions. I want well, nice to dig in. Nice to see you. Nice to to see see you. you. Sorry, I'm jumping right in. I'm excited. Yeah. Yes, you look great though. Thank you. I did my makeup in the car while driving. Oh my gosh, that seems dangerous. <laughs> yeah, mm, not when you're this talented. <laughs> okay. So. All right. Well, <laughs> well I think the last time I saw you two guys were uh, streamer awards. Yeah. 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 So it's been a while. It has been a while. But I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to come back to more LA, to LA more often. So like, I'll yeah. be back in March and June. So what in March? Oh, Streamer Awards is March. Yeah, and then Wicked. and then uh, VidCon <laughs> for June. Oh, that'll be freaking You're doing VidCon. Fun. I've never done VidCon before, and so like my company's like, you should do it. You should do it. I'm like, oh, okay. Your company? What do you mean when you say your company? My network. Network. What does that mean? Uh, you're, I, they just want, you're a part of a network. Is that like an agency? Yeah, I'm with a collab. I'm have you ever heard of the collab? C O L L A B. No, what does the network do for you? Uh, they what? Well, I'm learning. Yeah, so they help with um, with like title stuff, uh, back end video research stuff. Whoa! So like they do like a lot of like the technical stuff to make my, make my numbers better. Yeah. Are you happy with them? Love them. No, oh, that's interesting. That's the first time I've heard a YouTuber say they love the network that they're under. I love them. I mean, they do a great job. So yeah. I, I have no complaints. MCNs for the most part were. You know, kind of scammy, but I guess collab is different. This is very yeah. inside baseball. Yeah, inside baseball. Here. We do a little bit of inside. We do inside I baseball here. I try and steer us away from too much inside. I had, I had, yeah. Well, you weren't here, so that's yeah. literally all I did with courage. Uh, so well, here's my uh, follow up question. We're gonna hit you with the hard hitting stuff. Uh oh. You have one of the most iconic voices on the internet. Okay, I, <laughs> I'm just a regular guy. That's, that's what okay. I feel like every day. Yeah. But okay. You've noticed that your voice has like it's one of the most instantly no, I recognizable. Start talking. When am I? <laughs> when am I gonna get a daily dose audio book? Uh, <gasps> whenever you want, I don't know. Oh, I want it ASAP. I you know, I do it all the time for free. Like people are like, hey, can you wish my kid a happy birthday? I'm like, hey, hey, Jaden, happy birthday. Hope we have a fun. Like I do that all the time. He did it. Oh. That's just good. That's like, just good. That'll be six hundred dollars. Maybe <laughs> do we have do we have a short Christmas story that maybe later <gasps> in the pod we could have the daily dose read with his poetic. Yeah, we'll play some like music, and copyright <laughs> yes. free music in the background as well. Yeah, we could do that. I love that. That's a See, great I'm idea. doing content. That's a great idea. I, That's a great I, idea. I He's back. Spend that time He's back. My own dick. He's back. <laughs> I was percolating ideas. Yeah. Okay, I have a question I ask a lot of people. Sure. If you could make a perfect piece of content, I don't make content. I just put it together. But if you, could, he is the glue. He is the Van Gogh. What is? What is your? Do you have any artistic ambitions outside of your regular product? No, oh, I do, but I don't want to. Like, I'm good with what I do. Like, you don't want to have those ambitions. No, like, that's the it, first time I've ever it's heard. It's too that. much work. Like, I'm good. I, like, my workload is perfect. That's okay. wicked. Like, I, I love it. So, like, I upload twice a week, mon every Monday and Thursday. It used to be every day. That was insane. Yeah, that's crazy. That was insane. I had no life. That's a that's a lot. And then it was three times a week. Oh yeah, it is daily dose of the internet. It, well, it used, that's why it used to be called now. Daily it's here's dose. your twice a weekly dose. Of it's my weekly dose of internet now. It doesn't hit. It as doesn't hard. ring the same. It doesn't, hit <laughs> it doesn't ring the same. Yeah. So for marketing reasons, we got to keep it the same. You know. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I'm happy with my workload and everything, and I'm good. Like they want me to like jump on TikTok and everything and really pump pump out. Oh, videos interesting. There. They want yeah. me to get on YouTube Shorts. Here's I'm, your hourly dose. You of should get on. Of TikTok. You I'm, should get on YouTube Shorts. I'm for worried sure. about YouTube Shorts. I know it's perfect for my content, but uh, I'm worried on how that impacts. Like, so like when you first upload a YouTube Shorts, how does that impact the actual regular videos? Like, no, it's good. It's good. <laughs> no. <don't> <laughs> I, I talk to I talk to streamers all the time. I talk to YouTubers all the time. Uh, the shorts are like on crack right now for your okay. subs overall subscriber count. Like you, you will reach a much broader audience that you had not reached before. Um, I understand that your secondary concern is like, will it will it uh, prioritize the shorts yeah. on on your own subscription? Like for people who have subscribed to you, will it prioritize the shorts over your regular videos? I don't think that, that is. Don't, is that an issue? I haven't heard it from anybody. Okay, because I wanted to wait for things like to settle down a little bit before yeah. I jumped on that. So I, I might do it. I might do it. I know that like a lot of channels on YouTube that just do shorts have like blown up like yeah. tens of millions of fucking subscribers just on shorts. Well, like I know I could blow up, but I'm just saying like it's more about the money. No, I, I understand. <laughs> Speaking of YouTube shorts, the United States beat Iran 
yesterday in the World Cup uh-huh. and made its way through for the first time since 2006. Is anybody watching the World Cup? No. no. I watched it. Okay. Yeah, I watched it. All yeah. right. Did you feel? Did you feel? I like felt you nothing. Felt, yeah. You okay. Them yeah. Iranians. I'm not. I'm not too into soccer. Right. So, I'm not watching it because for because I want to protest it because you know six thousand people died to build the stadiums and stuff. Oh so. shit! I didn't know that. Yeah. What the fuck? I'm sorry. You I did watched that. it. Oh. You literally did that. You killed oh, no. them. You How does that. that feel? Well, also they don't allow beer. So that's also bad. Oh, that's not good either. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. It's like 6,000 <laughs> slaves were murdered in the I process didn't know of building that. that's this. That's crazy. That's a lot of people. Not giving wow. beer. <laughs> yeah, no, this is pretty fucked up. Uh, I mean, we don't do any politics on the podcast. We're not trying to do politics, but, but how do they get away with that? <laughs> but it's called having a lot of money. Really? Yeah. I should try yeah. Half and the Earth's population is watching the World Cup. Yeah, they, are, they bribed uh, FIFA, which is. Probably one of the most overtly corrupt institutions yeah. on FIFA's the planet. Very corrupt. Like really? literally, yeah. yeah, I would say they are so overtly corrupt. Like they're so open and so brazen with the bribes that they take. Like they just. So would you say that American football is the actual football and a better sport? No. No. That's interesting. So you support the murder of slaves. We're going to move right past that. <laughs> Famously, you know? America as a nation. We're going to move. <laughs> and football is an well, enterprise. The week that yeah. Jerry Jones uh, in his photo resurfaced in Arkansas. Did you see that? No. What are you doing Where now? he was uh, wait, the, the, the Cowboys owner. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Jerry Jones. Yeah. Uh, a Famously photo resurfaced. 100 years old. Yeah. Very, very old. And of course, if you're like a very old white guy from the South, maybe... Where were you during the time of segregation? Oh, that's right. He was at a fucking protest at a school where they were allowing black people to go to that Ooh, school. Was he, he, was that, he was in that famous Little Rock photo. Oh, yeah, here, Jerry no. Jones, Little Rock, and the photo of the cowboy, uh, a Cowboys owner juke for decades. Now, technically, he had actually came out. He did like a soft launch of it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Back in like 2006 in a I book. may or may not have protested. Maybe he was just there to... Learn. Oh, know? yeah. In 2010, in an oral history project for the University of Arca- uh, Arkansas, his alma mater, Jones couched his part in the contentious scene at I, you North know, Little I, Rock. He, I know Jerry Jones, and I am looking at this photo, and Jerry Jones is so fucking old now that can't I, cannot, him. I can't identify. How, yeah. What internet sleuth? No, he said it. Which himself. one is he? he got, Wait, he, he, he outed middle, himself? Middle, yeah. yeah. What? No, he did it. He So he did it like to be like, well, I talked about it back in the day. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like one of those oh things. My gosh. He, he soft launched his... His, uh, <laughs> his cancellation? Yeah. Wow. That's, a, that's a new technique to soft launch your own cancellation. Anything you want to be canceled for? Get, yeah. out, <laughs> get out ahead of it. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah it, it's like uh, if... Uh, what's the, the Clippers guy? If he like ahead of time was yeah. like... You know, <laughs> I talked about this before. I just don't like my significant other having sex with black men. <laughs> not a big deal. Yeah, I sports, talked about this before. Sports has some real, you know, not great moments for sure. Yeah, no. Well, aren't they not called owners anymore in the NBA? They're called CEOs. Because oh. I, I, I thought I heard oh, like that is such an NBA move. I love that. Yeah, yeah. It's I think so stupid. It. Because they don't want like you know it's like 2022 I guess. So. Yeah, there. That's like that's like changing uh, the name of like the master bedroom from the master bedroom to like the primary bedroom oh, or yeah, whatever. That's what are like doing. wow, wow, we really We've really done it. We really did it. Yeah. We did it, guys. Uh, you yes. know the the Racism cultural is over. Yeah, the, the <laughs> cultural and material impact of white supremacist segregation and slavery is done. Yeah, it's like doing land acknowledgments, like they do it in Canada. Where they're like, oh, we're in you know stolen Choctaw land. You know, and then they will continue on with the yeah. presentation. Well, Cutie, have you announced that you're a Jets fan yet? Because no. the Jets have supported yeah. Taylor Swift so full throated. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> did you get tickets? Yes, I did. did. I got tickets. I waited six hours. Congrats. Fifty thousand well, dollars. Where did you wait six <laughs> hours? Fifty thousand. Well, that that's for a different show. So I got tickets to two shows. Sorry, Swifties. You I'm are sorry. on. You paid fifty thousand dollars for. Well, if you count my other show, I spent fifty three thousand dollars total. Was it just one ticket? No, 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 no. Where are you sitting <laughs> on Everybody, stage? Everybody, this is. This, <laughs> don't be mad. Um, I did this instead of buying a car, which admittedly going that to is a literally would dumber. Make me happier. Why did you admit that? Why did you admit Why? that? That's so much I dumber. I have an old car. I have a car. It works fine. I don't yeah. need a new one. Uh huh. Yeah. So where are you sitting? What is fifty three thousand dollars so, buying? No, okay. Bro. Does it get you some Bro. of Taylor's hair, dude? No, that's the worst part. You don't even get to meet Taylor Swift. Oh, oh wow. 
Okay. Wait, I was so like, I was like, you have to meet Taylor Swift. Like, you, fifty you just, grand's a lot. Fifty of grand. Cash. I know it's a lot of money. It's the most I've ever spent besides yeah. on a house. But it okay, guys. So I got tickets to the the uh, normal tickets, which were just like um, they're like row four tickets. Right. Um, those I got five of those, and that was How like much three thousand dollars total. Okay. Oh, that's I got that's five of those reasonable. one show. Reasonable. Reasonable. Yeah, because I'm going to that one with like Leslie and all those guys. Yeah. The the Swifters, and then. A few days we later, we were not invited. Noticeably, well, you guys don't you don't even like her. Well, well I'm a Swifty now because <laughs> the Jets have basically a defended. That, yes, yeah. uh -huh. defended Taylor Swift unconditionally. Also, um, what would be a better opportunity to change a John Mayer friend <laughs> oh, and fan's God. mind yeah. than going uh -huh. to a Taylor Swift concert? I'll consider you. Um, you're not a priority because you can't name more than ten songs. Okay, first of all, your body is a wonderland. No. <laughs> <laughs> Your body is a wonder. Every time. Yeah. Uh, and then, so I bought it. I was sitting. Screen door. Red dress. But I'm in. No. <laughs> I know you were trouble when you walked in. Is that Taylor Swift? Yeah. Let's go. There's one. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? No. Uh, That's uh, also Katie. not even the name <laughs> of the song. <laughs> That's Katie. Fuck. <laughs> 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 All right, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. Anyway, <laughs> and the, I, had, I noticed they sold boxes. So I bought a box for $50,000. Yes. You know who buys those, what, right? What's in the box? Yeah. What's, what's in the box? You know and who buys those? 20 seats. I get 20 tickets. Like Visa. Oh. Oh, you guys are still not on the list. 20, 20 seats. <laughs> we are not even in the top 20. We, make the top we are not 20. in the top 20. No, what the I'm fuck? I'm taking my Mormon family. Oh, how big is your Mormon family? What do you mean? How big is my Mormon family? You it's have like 20 a family people. members. I don't have 20 family members that I like <laughs> enough to get into a box seat well, with Taylor Swift. I, I didn't say I like them enough. You're bringing people that you don't like to your fucking box? We'll Dude, see. We'll see you know who happens. buys box seats are bought by like Visa, MasterCard, yeah. AT&T. Well, and then also, Cutie Cinderella. Oh. Hey. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it was. You know the Visa Mormons executives get to meet so Taylor Swift. How does your Mormon family know Taylor Swift if they don't have electricity? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, no, well, okay, oh, so. I gotta mix up with Amish, sorry. Uh, all my siblings They're are like butter. married. That, yeah, yeah. And so that's like 10 people already. That's cool. yuck. So I like, know. not only are you so bringing you your sisters, $50, some of which you don't like, you also are bringing their deadbeat husbands. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, never listen to Taylor Swift. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I bet those guys don't even know about Taylor Swift and you're bringing them and you're not bringing us. Well, yeah. I, we'll see where the list lands, okay? <laughs> Will you remember me? Oh yeah, there he goes. See? Is that a Taylor Swift song? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wild yeah. Streams. I, I need to get but my- But Jason likes Taylor Swift. I, I have no opinion. Damn it. <laughs> he was also not. <laughs> I don't like I really follow, thought you were on my team. <laughs> I, I don't follow artists. I just like songs. What do you do? Yeah, Mr. Dose, don't think- Close your eyes, spit out the first thing that comes to your head. We're talking about it. Go now. Apple was the first thing that came to my head. Apple, yeah, like the, the food product or the product? Like, like the, the food. <laughs> oh. Okay. You eat apples. Okay, my family. <laughs> you work out. You work out. My <laughs> family <laughs> owns an orchard. I'm a. I'm an apple guy. Okay, now you're just flexing you too. Own orchard. I own That's an my orchard. dream. That is my dream. My dream is to really? retire and open up a, an apple orchard. I feel like really? you could do that without retiring. Oh. No, but I think you could get one now if you wanted. I, I guess I think he, he. What is it about apples? To operate the orchard, though. Yeah, I, 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 I want to get people. inside this mind's Sorry. this man's mind because he had the whole world of opportunities. <laughs> Went with something as humble. I love as the apple. apple picking and apple orchards, and I love bees and I love nature and I like. I love, you love bees. I would like love to be a. My farmer. family has a honey. Well, here's like I my fucking hate bees. Would you like to come to our hive house? Sure. So like my retirement dream goal Will is like own everything. like a big old farm, get some goats. Um, apple orchard, that whole thing. I, I'm a pretty, pretty. I like guy. that. That's cool. I, yeah, I'm not a city person. Sorry. No, I'm not either. I love cities. So you just you want the simple life. I'm a pretty simple guy. Yeah. Do you do any? Do you have a green thumb? Huge green thumb. Huge green thumb. What do you, you growing right now? Uh, what am I growing right now? Uh, right now it's just a little maple tree. A little maple tree. I'm trying to grow that. So I mean. Not the greenest. Not the greenest. Well, I, no, I, I don't have a house. I don't have a garden yet. I have an apartment, so. Why don't you get You got to get one of those walls that you can grow all I kinds. don't have a house yet because I'm, my life is still up in the air. My life changes so fast year to year. What? Sure. So, like, I don't know where I'm going to be, you know. Okay. So I, I kind of, oh. I rent because I want to keep things open. Right. Okay. Like, I don't want Well, you're not taking advantage of that openness. Well, also, also, it's a really bad time to buy a house because of uh, mortgage rates and everything. Yeah. That's true. Are that you is a true. pot smoker? Uh, I, yeah. Yeah. You strike <laughs> me as a pot smoker. Yeah, I'm definitely not an alcohol guy. Right. 
Um, definitely a weed guy, but I, I I don't make a habit of it. So. You just hit the Pennington every once in a while. No, Benjamin I don't, Franklin. I don't know any. Like sometimes I'll see friends and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, and well, you're like, let me go to Blinker City. Yeah, yeah the little, you know, <laughs> friends will be like, you know, come on over. I'm like, okay, cool. Let's have some fun. Have you ever watched um, Damien Luck, aka Fulcrum? Uh, don't think so. Yodi Land, Yodi Gang. No, no, I like, I don't really watch content. Faded in a hoe, faded in a hoe, faded in a hoe, faded in a hoe. How is that possible? How do you source your videos? I I find I scroll through my my entire day is like four to five hours worth of scrolling through TikTok, Instagram, oh my gosh, Twitter, like all. I spend like almost all my time on social media. I don't really watch TV shows or yes. anything because like I I just put my head down and grind. And then I, when you see stuff, you message people and you ask if you can use it, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. I don't really watch too much content. It's really rare. All right, I'm going to ask you a hard-hitting question. Sure, go for Uh-oh. it. You keep saying that. Yeah. But none I, of them have hit hard. These are hard-hitting. He'll be are like, hard? he, he's like, I, I have a hard-hitting question <laughs> for like, you. Fine. How do you like to spend your Monday mornings? Yeah. <laughs> no, ready? I'm ready. You are arguably the internet's finest curator. Sure, thank what you. What is your favorite internet video of all time? That is a hard-hitting question. Yeah, Never mind. Oh, my God. Question. He did it. I'm freaking out. But the thing is that the problem with that is that there's so many videos I see in them. It's like uh, they kind of blend together. It's I'm not like letting you off the hook. What's I need highlights. I need like a, there's got to be ones that stand out in your head that you're like, damn. There aren't really that stand in my head because they all just blur together. They, they blur together after a while. It's like what's it called? Doom scrolling or something. There's yes. a term, there's a term yeah. Does it hurt your brain? It does. Because I get off TikTok after 15 minutes and I'm like, whoa. That's crazy. Only 15 minutes? I feel drugged. Well, here's the thing. I actually was really worried because when TikTok first started to emerge, it was like distorting my brain and version of reality because like I would, I, I actually had to get help for this. So I got therapist help for this. Because wow. it, was, it was that, because I was spending so much time scrolling through TikTok. It was my full-time job. It was distorting my view of reality and dis- distorting my per- view of perception. I don't know. How was it he's like daily? Wow. He's like daily dose of misogyny. Well, like, I, didn't, I don't want to get into details. Wrong side but, of TikTok. Yeah, you. But yeah, it kind of messed me up a little bit, but I'm good now. Um, but yeah, so I actually had to get help for that. That's that is crazy. Fascinating. That's how bad TikTok No is. wonder you want to own a farm. That's you kind a, of resent technology. A I bit. am totally fine with just disconnecting from the internet forever. I'm, wow. I think, you know what it is? It's because he turned his passion into a job. Well, it's, it's something that's supposed to be fun. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't enjoy social media like everyone else does. Yeah. Because I have it curated for me. For, I have it, like, all my algorithms are not made for me. All my algorithms Whoa. are made for daily dose of the internet they're curations. Made, they're made for everyone else. I know exactly Whoa. what you mean by that. That's kind of why I rarely ever spend time on TikTok. Because my TikTok algorithm is curated specifically for the types of like weird yeah, right we wing. Scroll, we scrolled your algorithm one time. Yeah, like weird right wing content creators that I or or like random right wing people that are like, I'm gonna go take a gun out and, and shoot IRS agents. Like I'm looking for that all the time. Yeah. So I think my and then I also like scroll for personal pleasure as well sometimes. So it's just like this weird combination of like those two worlds and TikTok doesn't do a good job of like delivering the sauce for me. No. I think we have a thread of something fast. Sure, go for now. it. You would unplug from the internet. I, I, I'd like to unplug from the internet, but it's my job. Do you have a break even point? Do you have a goal where you're like, I'm fucking nuking this and I'm gone and you'll never see me? Uh, probably two to three years. Two Whoa. Wow. Un- unless something changes. So it's not money. It's the time thing. It's a time thing. Cause like my, my goal is just be done with YouTube by, by 32 and then just travel the world, see friends. So I've, you know, you question. could do that right now. I, I'm doing that right now. Yeah. Would Easy. you ever sell your business and just lend them your voice? Like once a day you wake up on your orchard and you go, Whoa. and you do the, t- give me, give me the, <laughs> yeah. Uh, hello everyone. This is your daily dose internet. And then it's someone really else good. who's cut it and put it together. Yeah. And so you I've, just... I've talked to a few wow. people. Like I, I've had a lot of offers for a lot of money. And so uh, that might be the goal eventually. Wow. Yeah. That's really cool to think about. Yeah. Like they could just send you lines and you just say them. And then it's like, maybe I could do that. I'm beginning yeah. to realize we are on the exact opposite end of like content creation in the sense that like, there's no, like, <laughs> like you never want to stop. I can't. No, you will pull I his never dead cold stop. hands. I would never want to stop. I love what I do. And also, it's impossible. Like, who well, the fuck? Well, it, I mean, I think you could just record top of the hour ad breaks. <laughs> yeah, that's my then, content. And then someone could stall. Yeah. And that would, be, it, would it wouldn't be the same, but it'd be. They'd still watch Pretty it. much. That's yeah. my content. They'd still well, watch it's also it. Because nice people are there for you. They're not there for me. They're there for the, the content. That's the yeah, difference. Yeah, you almost did it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did it correct. I guess I we did it We sold right. our souls. Exactly. That was our mistake. 
But do you prefer that though? Do you do you like that, or do you? Is there a part of you that sometimes wishes like? I wish uh, it wasn't just like the daily dose of the internet, but I wish it was more me and also that like people knew me for me and like I I got to see that because you, you're surrounded by people, surrounded by content creators who yeah. you know that put their face out there and have like adoring fans and whatnot. Do you ever feel, uh, you know? That's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm kind of like, I like to dip in and dip out and I, I realize this is my personality. I like to socialize, but only on my own terms. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. So, like, if people just like show up to my my place unannounced, which would never happen, but if it did, I'd be furious. Like, what are you doing here? Has anyone ever recognized you by your voice? Uh, by my voice, a ton of times. Uh, like maybe like a dozen times. Maybe I feel like if you were a pharmacist, it'd be every day. It, yeah, but I don't. Really <laughs> think myself in but the thing is that like I've only gotten recognized by my face like three times. Like okay. it's super rare. It was funny though because I was at my gym and some girl came up to me like, are you, are you daily dose? And I'm like, yeah, I am. She took, a, I've never seen her before. Uh, she took a picture of me and then I never saw her ever again. So I think maybe she got like embarrassed or like. Oh, turned. interesting. I'm like, I was expecting to, I was expecting her to keep coming back to the gym, to the gym. Cause like, Oh, that's where daily dose is. But maybe she felt like it was weird. Do you, you did your, did you, how long ago did you do your face reveal? It was pretty recent, wasn't it? I don't know. Like, I've, I've never done a big reveal. I've always just... You just kind of posted your face. Yeah, and I, and I, and I never did a... Big For some reason, reveal. I thought you, yeah. like... I thought people were like, oh, this is this is, this is is what he looks like. I mean, it was a face yeah. reveal for us for the first time when we saw it. Yeah. Technically, yeah, for us, it seemed like a face yeah. reveal. He's I'm been doing it. I'm just curious if when you did a face reveal, if you got, like, a bunch of sliders. The thing is that I think it's always been out there. No one really put the two together. Uh-huh. I think I there was a couple viral clips that went viral that were, like... Me saying it with my voice. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Not, it was pretty much the streamer awards. So I was like, my face I reveal. did it. <laughs> I ruined this man's you. life. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you, didn't, so, you didn't get any sliders? Slider. You know, People that slide, slide into your DMs and try to smash. No one slides in my DMs. <laughs> really? Really? Wow. That surprised me. Uh, I'm good. So, uh, question for you. Um, you have friends that are content creators you've yeah. mentioned some of them um but would you say that the uh you know overwhelming amount of your uh, group of friends are just normans yeah, civilians pretty much well you know i have a lot to think is the reason why i'm here right now is because my friend alan walker he's he's actually right gonna be down the road there uh performing tonight or tomorrow oh cool yeah yeah and you guys are all invited um he's not down the road from my house he's not saying that he's no. just saying like it down the road it, <laughs> with respect to los angeles to where he's coming from yeah yeah so yeah like i don't know up there <laughs> um but yeah he's like responsible for me like getting out here because he reached out to me he's like hey daily dose i love your videos come come to my you know come to my concerts come on tour oh my with gosh me. i'm like okay so as he's like the first time i ever like stepped out of my comfort zone and now i'm like addicted to hanging out with uh, content creators and things like that so like I, mm. I have all to thank for him. So yeah, we're very addictive. <laughs> no, I mean I think I think you're. I have we have a lot in common. Him and I. Yeah, we have a lot of anxieties. We are our yeah we are very weird. Our DMs consist of. You're afraid of that too. <laughs> yeah, we we, have, we both have high anxiety issues. What are you afraid of the most? Afraid of the most is spiders. Is dying before doing the things I wanted to do. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. Like so, if I if I died, I'd be pissed. I, I, yeah, I'd, I'd be, be mad. Pissed. I'd be What's so your number one bucket list item that you haven't done? Hit it. Uh, well, come closer to the microphone, by the way. A little closer. Uh, have a deep, meaningful connection with a significant other. Oh Ooh. my gosh, that but, is. But you know, like I've had a few relationships Damn. and everything. I've had a few relationships and everything, but like I'm a people person, and like that would be, like I've I've, I've had a few glimpses of it, and it's beautiful. Dang. Okay. Mine are so much more superficial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like material things don't make me happy, you know? Yeah. Will is like, I want to five some on top of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, he's like, he wants to buy a boat. I actually had that conversation with Austin show last night. Yeah. Oh, and he couldn't name anything that wasn't sex. Yeah, <laughs> he has a problem. That's the least surprising thing I've ever yeah, heard. He's, he, like, he's like, I want a monster. He, he came to the realization he wanted to have like a, a coached orgy. Okay. Oh my god! He wanted what? an orgy, but with like um, airplane traffic controller. I love how he somehow made this like vain process even more. Yeah, yeah. Vain. He is this. He has a unique bug. That one. Yeah. 
He also has a lot of anxieties, much like you. I haven't met him yet. He seems like a funny guy. He is really funny. Yeah, he is he's like great. a lot of people don't realize how funny he is. He's great in doses. Yeah, he <laughs> no, he's great all the time. I like a daily dose. Of yeah, I like a daily yeah. dose of Austin. When he, you can get a little bit much. Yeah, <laughs> he's a diva. He's like shows up to a place before saying hello. Is like, is air conditioner on? <laughs> so you've been unlucky in love thus far. I don't know about unlucky. It's more like a. I've got my own things I'm kind of battling right now. Mm -hmm. So therapy is great. Therapy okay, what's the great. second thing on your bucket list that does not involve a significant other? Uh, I don't know, just trying to make friends and, and meet new people. Like, I'm God addicted. damn it, give me something material, No, like, that's literally man. what I'm addicted what to right Fuck. now. Fuck, you're too goddamn well, wholesome. No, here's the situation. <laughs> he wants to murder someone with here's his bare situation. hands. He's like, I, I want to open an orphanage. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, because, like, like, growing up, I was, like, I never talked. I didn't have any friends in high school. Like, I was, like, I was, I was sitting at the weird kid table in high school. Mm -hmm. Like, I never had friends. Like, to give you an example how where I was in high school, it would be me and three other people. One was this uh, Asian woman who... Who did not speak English? Uh, another one was a heroin addict who oh my who taught us how to inject heroin. Kind of cool to learn though. He said you have to inject it in, in your toes because that way no one knows. Yeah, no marks. Ow. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's and then some other chubby guy that would produce milk from his nipples. He would that's how wait, I, that's crazy. So those are my. Three so you friends. had free milk and free heroin, yes. <laughs> and maybe even learned Mandarin. That's awesome. <laughs> those were my three friends in high school. Do, do you think that that upbringing gave you unique insight into the internet and helped develop your early product yeah yeah maybe but i didn't have full access to the internet until i was 18 oh my god because like I was, really? I was on parental controls you know at a, at a pretty strict oh, household i don't know i, that, I, don't I that feel that me or, or heal well but not you soon we're, we're filming <laughs> what, what are you doing right now just open the door hi bud see you later <laughs> yes please cut hi, bye, that bye bye <laughs> Include that. <laughs> that was good. Dude, living. Oh, my God. Hey, what audio or listeners, what you just missed is Marsh just cut out. No, you can you can keep it. That is an insane. He. So you had strict parental. Care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess I guess I did. But I yeah, me too, by the way. Really? The, 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 the man that you just saw peek in here to be like, hey, someone's at the door instead of just opening the door. Uh, yeah, they they wouldn't let me play any video games. Really? Well, they wouldn't let me play any video games on the Internet. So I had to play Dota uh, secretly. Oh, uh, yeah. So my dad didn't let me play video games like, well, like bloody video games like Call of Duty. He hated me playing Call of Duty. He's like, you're going to turn into one of those school shooters or something, you know? It's like, always no, local news. <laughs> no, it's always, <laughs> you know, it's, that's interesting that you say that because like, it's literally local news. Like they wouldn't let me play. They wouldn't let me play online games because they thought like a pedophile would like groom me if I played online video games because they probably saw like news coverage. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, and then that stuck with them. Same with like, oh, video games cause mass uh, shootings. So yeah, you bullshit. were deprived of the internet till 18. Did you binge when you were out of the home? Did you, did you just gorge yourself on internet? <laughs> I, I, I don't know, but I... He made it his life. What yeah, do you mean? Yeah, it is his life. Yeah, so I, I definitely... I think like sh that sheltering made me like a little more wholesome. Mm. So I, I'm less... Uh, I'm... I'm, I'm I don't know. I feel like I'm more wholesome than most. So people. we'll never get a daily dose compilation. Whoa! <laughs> Come These are hard hitting questions. Ooh. Sorry for that hard hitting question. That was hard. These are hard hitting questions. I don't know. I'm not going to respond to that. My okay. coworker here is a little cutie. Have you ever watched a compilation? I, you know, the um, admittedly, I've <laughs> shouldn't have watched this. I, <laughs> well, I clicked on. I got. I got clickbaited. It was like you got clickbaited. No, <laughs> stop. Let her. Let her cook. Yeah, I know what she's about to say. Go on. Pokemon standing up the compilation. I was oh! like, what the like hardiness. Not. I was like, what could this consist of? And I watched it. And it's just her walking away from her desk a hundred times. And I was like, wow. Someone is making money. So you off watched this. all hundred times. I loved it. You didn't turn it, was it off. It so good. Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. Was, was, was she like, standing up well? She stood up. She, few, she got sturdy with it? A few times. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Wow. But I get clickbaited into those all the time. Actually, Mia Malkova the other day tweeted. She was like, this is my this is my better Twitter account. And I was like, okay. And then I was like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. And I get clickbaited a lot. That, that, is, that is one thing that I've noticed is I have a lot of friends who make risque content. Uh -huh. And when I'm on an airplane, right, trying to get Jets updates. Oh, you have to mute. Sometimes I'll be like, ah! Like, yeah, you know, there's no, just, you have to mute them really straight up because I, 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 most I, muted. I scroll Twitter all the time as a part of my stream. Yeah. And I, I learned very early on 
if you have a sex worker friend, you have to mute them. Yeah. yeah. Because if you don't, they will show up on your timeline. And Soda Poppin. You know, the only time I almost ever got banned is because I was like, I went to Soda Poppin's Twitter and I clicked on his replies. Because <laughs> I was like, Soda's unhinged on Twitter is what I'm telling on my stream. And I click on his replies and he's just replying to titty pics. And I was like, <laughs> Soda! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's out of this like world. That. Yeah. So I think, but this is something Ludwig talks about. He talks about horny gap, where like a lot of guys fail in like their career or their relationships because they get too horny and they like quit or they like get distracted. And that's what, like Ned from Try Guys, perfect example. Horny gap. He, lo he, he, he lost his everything. He got off the bat. Yeah, you can't be wife guy and then cheat. So I, think I think it stems from a, a place of, of a lack of experience. Nah, dude, the internet's so horny. Anybody no, no, caught. like, yeah, yeah. bro, but you're on the internet. I'm on the internet. And like, sometimes so horny. I'm <laughs> devastatingly horny. Okay, that's fair. But I, I but I'm I, open about my. But when you're, right? I, I think like, like I've been in relationships uh, while being on the internet, and uh, my eyes have never wandered. But also because, like, you know, I I take a long ass time to to get to that position. And when I'm single, I'm just, you know. Well, when it's right, when it's right, when the person that you're with just blocks out everyone else. It's really cool. Yeah, really I, cool I don't I don't have like... Uh, well, issue. then you haven't gotten horny gapped. That, you're, you're perfect I think example. it's because like, I think it's because like when I... I think when I'm single, I just do whatever I want. That's yeah. it. You know what I mean? Oh, so you're saying you work it out of your system. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about That's it. what you're supposed to do. I think ah, when you're single, you're supposed to just like Bro, work it out of your... <laughs> Work it out of your system, bro. I I I nut once a day. Like I, I'm just letting you know, Propecia lowered my libido to a degree where I have like a normal male's normal libido now. What's now. Propecia, what's that? It's, it's what we take loss. to maintain right? our hairline medication. You don't have that problem, do you? No, you no, got a great hairline. No, you got great. Uh, hair. It's weird though, because like, aren't you supposed to lose your hair if you're if you're mother so your grandpa yes. on your mom's side? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, very bald. My grandpa is very bald, and I'm not balding. But you're also just turning thirty. Yeah, but when he does it happen? His hair you might have hit. You though. might have hit, have hit one of those nice recessive alleles. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't know if it does happen. I'm just gonna shave it off. But also, we have technology nowadays. You can just put it back. So no, that's the one thing that technology is not like <laughs> definitely fixed. Because if that he was the case, Jeff Bezos would not be bald. Elon Musk's hair plugs would not be leaving his hair regularly. Yeah. That is the one instance where like they haven't hit that sweet spot. Is that in like penis enlargement? I would say well, yeah. is we like about that last episode. The two things. Oh that. my god! Very you that. Yeah, you missed it. Yeah. She had some it's on freak the ideas. Good ideas. You know what's you know what's interesting about penis enlargement? If it existed. Everyone would enlarge their yeah. penis. Which then it would be the most common. Yeah. Because even dudes, listen, I don't care if you have a 12 no, inch. Every 12 person's inch, cervix it, would be it, suffering. It's, it's like there's always a bigger fish. Uh -huh. I, need, yeah. I know guys with hogs. Uh -huh. And they're who like, would I still wish I just punch had a little it up bit a little bit. Yeah. Because wow. where would you stop? I'm TV? very, I'm very I don't fond. Know. Where I'm very, would you stop? I'm very fond of my penis. I would definitely get it. It would be an annual <laughs> thing for me. I'd be like, Every I'm at fifteen, yeah. I'm, I'm at 15 <laughs> solid, but <laughs> I can always birthday, go I bigger. Go yeah. You know, you know, it's like with breast implants, they, yeah. they just always went bigger. Yeah, you know they what just it is. Always went. Bigger. No, that's literally what. It, okay, you just cracked the code. Yeah. Because like, uh, women have the capacity to stop. Yes. And plenty do. They sometimes like some ladies will get like, you know, they'll go for a C cup. If a they're like an A cup. C. Yeah. yeah. A and cute, it's like nice round yeah. B. Uh -huh. You know, a little bit of retrousse, right? Yes. Retrousse. Um, retrousse. And uh and, and then they'll stop. Men have no capacity. No. It, no. Like if if it was as easy to get penis enlargement as it is for like, you know, a, a titty enlargement. You're right. People would be walking around. You'd have like CEOs yeah. shaking hands and their their penises are yeah. falling out of their fucking Ludwig khakis. Ludwig would tuck the tip of his cock into his crock. No, yeah. I could see I could see yeah. Ludwig not getting penis enlargement for I don't think really, <laughs> I don't, really, no, I don't even like, get it. For like the quirkiness of not getting it, you know? Ludwig's, we're all getting penis Yeah, no! we all get it. We all get it. We're all, get all it. getting no, penis enlargement. It's just so large, he doesn't need it. <laughs> <laughs> the cap. The cap. Everybody's getting penis enlargement. <laughs> Billy Ray Brains is getting penis. I don't know if Daily Dose would get a penis. Uh, You're too wholesome. He's good. I'm, I'm happy. I'm He's happy. happy. You I'm got very, a monster. I have no. I have no Whoa. complaints. I have no complaints. I'm very. Happy. I mean, I, I, I'm His happy level too. Of but confidence and can calm go only comes from a man who has an absolute <laughs> sea monster. <laughs> I think you can always no. Nope, I, I think you can always go bigger. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'd be out here with yeah. a 15 inch. <laughs> I, I think it could, be, it could be funny though. 
<laughs> yeah, I think you could like adjust funny. it, you know? I think it'd be funny. You could wear it as a scarf. Yeah. Ew. Flop it <laughs> Just a flesh scarf. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's good. gonna be a weird time for humanity when the penis enlargement becomes yeah. possible. Do you think that there are men out there who would use a cadaver's penis? You were literally doing the thing that she was talking about Whoa! last Patreon episode. Mind Patreon uh, episode, uh, yeah. patreon.com slash fear and. Yeah, she, she brought that up. Like she was just saying. That do, that's you, like, do you think that they haven't done that because they're worried that o or organ donors would, there would be a significant drop off because men wouldn't want their hog harvested? No, my idea was that you could sell it, like free, wow. free trade, yeah. What's the full thing you're talking about? Well, imagine this. <laughs> okay, go for it. Patreon.com slash fear end. That's what you have to imagine. <laughs> yeah. We'll to see dive it. into it a little more, but essentially you, um, you chop it off and you say- She said homeless people should be able to give their fat hogs to like rich it. people so Hobo they can Joe get homes. Hobo Joe has a seven incher. He doesn't care for it. That is the end. That is the logical okay. limit of capitalism. Yeah, I know. Is, we need to make a movie know, but where like, that critique. She called it. She called it a utopia. And I was like, in your utopian no. society, there's still homeless people. <laughs> Not <laughs> after they sell selling their penis. Their who dicks. need to sell their after cocks. After they sell their penis, they don't, they not homeless. They don't care about they don't want it. They don't care. I don't about know it. about that. I think I think most men would rather be homeless than lose their dick. Really? Well, yeah. no, they trade it. No, 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 no. <laughs> you can't. Yeah, they trade it down. <laughs> like, they they, they wake up they with a stranger's one. small penis. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's wild. Whoa. But we'll get we'll get we'll continue to get we'll continue to get Patreon. more wild on the Patreon proportion. Patreon? Yeah, you were a little late, I so was. we started. It's not my fault. I live four hours away. No, I know. Well, that is your. That is literally no, your fault. Listen, fault. before we get into the paid portion, I would just like to thank the Daily Dose of the Internet. Thank Yay. you. I think you, in a very humble way, undervalue your product. I think a lot of people set their watch by it. It's a calming presence. Make something tremendous, and it was great to have your perspective on Thank you so much, things. Will. I really appreciate it. Where can people find you, Daily uh, Dose? YouTube.com slash Daily Dose Internet. All right. Where He's can people... The Christmas concert. Where can, I know. What are you yeah. singing at the Christmas you concert? You are tricking him out. Wait, you do want to sing? I'll sing. Why would I not want to or, sing? Or, or... He reads the night before Christmas. Are, are I going to read it? I don't... <gasps> In the Daily Dose voice... That everyone loves. Shut it down. Shut it down. Wait, that was genius. Well, whatever you want me to do, I, I'm fine. <gasps> I am whatever gives you, you, you out. Are, you you are bad. tricking him to, out. No, no, no. There's something about you that I see in myself, and that's why I invite you to so many things. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm a. I don't really like. I need someone to, to drag me along to do things. Yeah. I don't really. Like, I'm a dragger. Sure. Yes, thank you for dragging me to places. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, she's a dragger. All right. Oh, she's a dragger. You wow. do not know what <laughs> yeah. you just unlocked. Okay. No, he yeah. Well. She will also publicly you shame local, you. you would be screwed. Go for it. Yeah, it, she will publicly you. shame you and like will will uh, tweet out messages. I, I, I saw you telling him to be a. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I no one. Uh, no, you listen. I already told Will that you were his understudy in case you don't show up. Yeah. But there's just no one would be a better Scrooge because then people will be like really mad. You know, you'll get canceled. It'll help the concert. There's not a better Scrooge. Probably the most Why is overqualified understudy in you the history are. of <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, Will, Will would be a better actor in Scrooge. But yeah, you are just better. <laughs> Why? We can Why? we can Why? we mention one thing before? Oh, he's a he's a great. No, 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 no. Before we go, did you cast him as Scrooge because he's Muslim? Be honest. <laughs> it is giving Islamophobia, cutie. I, everyone is thinking it. What? Yeah. Everyone is thinking it. I didn't it. know that was a thing. <laughs> yeah. Do you hate Christmas? I did it because I did it because you're rich. Hassan? And people hate you for being rich. Oh. Yeah. People hate yeah. you for being rich. Yeah. And cause... you're clouded. Let's be honest. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we'll talk more about <laughs> cuties. We'll talk more about cuties Islamophobia behind the paywall at <laughs> patreon.com slash fear and see you on the other side. But what do you mean? You could just have a gun in the classroom. You'd be yeah, fine. Yeah, they, they will let you do that in Florida. Yeah, I guess you could. But like being like a substitute teacher would be cool. Like that would be cool. Everyone would want to be a substitute teacher. Like, oh yeah, Mr. King's here. Hell yeah. Plus, like, then the roulette is kind of on your side. You know, yeah, what's exactly. the chances that that's the day? But everyone loves your substitute teacher. Like everyone remembers that cool substitute teacher they had in school. You're like, right. I want to be that guy. Well, I know. You should never guess every week. Sorry, you're getting the, the thick of it. No, this I'm has fine. been a work in progress. I'm good. Do you like the name Fearin? I'm not a big fan, personally. I'm not a fan. Because, like, I didn't know what it was about. Daily Dose. I don't, I don't, I don't, even, I don't even care you about the name. I don't care, but, like. Bitch.